Today, we are looking at probably my most favorite watch I have to date bought. So this is, if any of you are familiar here with the Seiko um, Baby Grand Snowflake, this is the Seiko SARX055, the Sarx055. So I picked this up here as one of the only watches for sale in the United States that I could find. I believe this was the only uh, baby grand that I could find in the whole United States. It was located 35 minutes south of where I live. So I couldn't say no to it. These on the open market right now are going anywhere from $1,200 to $1,900. I picked mine up for $600. Uh, it was an absolute steal. I have uh, since bought this. I have worn this one time. The uh, fit and finish of the watch is just gorgeous. And when I was going to buy the watch, I was a little worried about the size as the case is 40.8 millimeters in diameter. And uh, I do have a smaller wrist, but we will throw this on the wrist here shortly and see how it fits just to show you all. So one unique characteristic about this watch that I really liked was, uh, besides the fact that this is the Baby Grand Snowflake, um, I wish the iPhone here could pick up the macro shots of the actual case, the actual dial. Um, right there, you can kind of see um, the pressed look to the dial. It looks like pressed snowflakes, and that's kind of how it gets its name. So the whole case, what really interested me about this, the whole case, bracelet, everything is titanium. So this watch is ultra, ultra light compared to my um, Presage SRP F53 that I have, uh, my Notice and my other Seikos that I have. This is definitely the lightest watch in the, um, in the collection that I have. So... Um, it is a multi-finished and satin brush and high polish coated in Seiko's proprietary Dia Shield. Um, runs on the 6R15 automatic caliber, 23 joules, uh, power reserve of 50 hours. So a lot of complaints that I saw online about this is that the caliber is not what you expect to pay. I believe when this watch came out brand new, it was somewhere between $700 and $1,000. So... Some people expected a little bit better movement out of this. But for me, this is a step up of what I have um, for our 16s, I believe, in some of my other uh, three other Seikos that I actually have. So you have the date on the side, on the right side. Um, you have a nice pressed uh, applied Seiko logo on top and the Presage automatic on the bottom. The indices here are basically matching to the case itself. They are pressed on um, with that silver chromish look to them, um, unlike the uh, SRPF that I have as well. The hour and minute hand are kind of that chromey look as well, and the dial is a blue, kind of a darker blue dial on that that matches the um, minute and second guides on the dial. So you can see the blue matches the blue of the minutes, seconds as it goes around. So like I said, I'm just in awe of this watch. This is, um, I would say, one of my first sort of investment pieces from Seiko. Uh, I do have three others, but uh, this Seiko here is definitely a must. A lot of the overseas examples from Japan that I am seeing are very, very uh, expensive right now. So I am very happy that I got this watch here. But let's try it on the wrist, and then I will give you my final thoughts. So this watch on the wrist, when you initially put the watch on, you will notice that because of the titanium weight, it almost feels like it's cheaper than its actual price point. But for me, I like 
the weight of this watch. For somebody who does have smaller wrists, about six and a half inches, this watch fits very well. The weight is excellent. It's, it's, I mean, it's a lighter than my Apple watch, really. And, uh, it's a non fatiguing fit on the wrist with this bracelet on there. Um, the bracelet is a nice matte kind of titanium color, hence the titanium look. And then there are some chrome accents on the bracelet as well. But, uh, this is how it looks on my wrist. This is almost a 41 millimeter uh, case size, but it looks no bigger on my wrist than my Notice does or some of my other Seikos. Um, as this is a dress watch, the outfit that I have on right now, which is more of a casual sport, looks actually very good and uh, acceptable with this, with this style of Seiko. So again, um, I'm so glad I got this watch. If you are in the market for one of these Baby Grand Snowflakes, this is, uh, uh, and you have a limited budget like myself, this is a watch to get. It's such a versatile watch. You can wear it on dressy occasions. You can wear it when you go out shopping. You can wear it on a date. You can, uh, uh, you know, essentially wear it. Unless you're going to work, you may not want to wear it there. But, uh, these are limited and rare to find. If you have one of these, keep these in fantastic shape. Mine is basically brand new. It was worn a handful of times by the previous owner, and now it'll be worn um, a handful of times by myself. So all in all, this watch here for somebody like me and my needs um, as a younger professional, I, I, I seriously give this watch a 10 out of 10. It is just phenomenal.